Hello guys, I hope all of you are having a wonderful day. I'm Howell Rodriguez and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for dropping by and I also hope that you'll consider subscribing. And for those who are already subscribed, thank you for your support. And for today's sneaker review, we are going to check on this Air Jordan 1 High Brotherhood. Okay guys, so this Air Jordan 1 High Brotherhood was released here in Taiwan last February 26. But this one is exclusive for women's only. I know that in the other countries, they have this for men too. But here, maybe they will set a separate date for the release of the men's size. But for now, if you want to get this one first, you just need to add 1.5 to the women's size. And then this colorway reminds me of the Air Jordan 1 High Light Fusion Red. But I think this one is better than that one. Okay, and the official colorway of this is University Gold Light Bordeaux. The inspiration behind this colorway is from the brotherhood or fraternity Omega Sci-Fi. This fraternity is a historically African-American fraternity founded in 1911. And Shaquille O'Neal and Michael Jordan are in this fraternity. That's why sometimes you'll see them doing like this because that is some kind of a sign of their fraternity. Okay, so with all that being said, Let's check now the details of this Air Jordan 1 High Brotherhood. This Air Jordan 1 High Brotherhood comes with a typical black box with the red Nike logo. I think it would be more interesting if they include the color of the shoes to the box just like on their previous Jordan 1 release. They use a very good leather materials on the upper of the shoes in my opinion. So on the front side of the shoes, you'll see this tumbled leather university gold on the toe box and light bordeaux colorway on the toe cup going to the eye stays. Actually at first, I thought they used a new back materials on the light bordeaux colorway, but I was wrong. These are all leather. Then we have this white nylon tongue with a university gold tag and light bordeaux Nike Air logo on top. These shoes come with three laces. The light bordeaux, university gold, and white. Inside of the shoes, it has a light bordeaux sock liner, university gold insole with light bordeaux Nike Air logo. Going to the lateral and medial side, they use a white tumbled leather on the mid panel, light bordeaux swoosh, university gold on the wing part, on the lateral side, 
they have this Jordan Wings logo in light Bordeaux colorway. Then you'll see a University Gold heel and light Bordeaux ankle collar at the back side of the shoes. On the lower part of the shoes, it has a white midsole and University Gold outsole with Nike logo at the middle. So that's the details and construction of our Air Jordan 1 High Brotherhood. Okay guys, so my thoughts on this uh, Air Jordan 1 High Brotherhood. Actually at first, when I saw the pictures of this online, mm, I'm not into it. But seeing this in hand actually changed my mind. Because this one has a solid colorway. And it also has the same color blocking with the bread toe. And if you want something new in your collection, you might want to consider this one. Plus, the quality of leather that they use in this one, in my opinion, is magnificent. I hope all of the Jordan ones that they are going to release will have the same uh, leather quality. And then also, the story behind this or the inspiration behind this makes it more interesting. So for girls who are into sneakers, I think this one is for you. You're gonna love this one. Okay, so that's it for my review on this Air Jordan 1 High Brotherhood. And if you like this video, you can also hit that like button because it will help my channel to grow. So before we end this video, I would like to shout out Pinoy Sneaker Hands in Taiwan to all the members and especially to all the admins. And to Team Elite and Aris Romano, thank you so much for your continuous support. And to Kevin D. Jesus for the cap. Thank you again so much. So that's it. See you on my next video. Bye.